Fuck. No, no, Kyle, Wilson. shut up. Wilson. Kyle, I hate you so much. Well, oh, everybody, wow. welcome to BDP episode one. Thanks for ruining my intro, Kyle. Here's Mike, Isaiah, and well, you met that cunt. So, mm. what's up, everybody? <laughs> what's up? How's it going? Bro. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, what are we going to talk about? What are we going to start this on? It's a good topic. You guys are so fucking ridiculous. This is going to be the worst (laughs) podcast ever. Alright! Yep, it's our first one. Alright, so, uh... Moon Knight? It is. All right, well, what is good. Moon Knight? Is it like an anime? Uh, no, that's perfect. If somebody <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, know I, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Alright, so Moon Knight is uh, the newest Marvel series that came out on Disney+. Plus. Uh, it's about a guy that has got multiple personalities who is imbued with the power of an Egyptian god. Um, and he pretty much does his bidding. But uh, throughout the process, you're also watching him unwind and figure out that, like, the reason that his brain is broken is because he's been bouncing all these personalities back and forth this whole time without knowing it. He generally blacks out when he goes from one personality to the other, so he doesn't know what's going on. So basically, he's a crazy bitch. Oh, he's crazy as fuck. Yeah, honestly, in the newest episode... I could probably get into something like that, bro. I like Marvel shit. So, uh, Ethan Hawke plays the main antagonist in the show. He, uh... He, in the last episode, is using his uh, his mental instability as his reasoning, as uh, I believe it is uh, Mark is, like, standing in front of a tribunal of the gods, and he has mm. to argue his way as to why Ethan Hawke is being evil and, you know, explaining it, and he's like, he pretty much says, this guy's crazy, he's got, like, two different personalities in his head, how can you believe him? So, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Super crazy. And meanwhile, the Egyptian god, what's his name? Kaishu? Kaishu. It was already banished yeah, once, yeah, so, so he already has a bad rep. The gods already don't the believe him very much. And uh, to get their attention, he turns it from daytime to nighttime. In the mi- no, he makes an eclipse. No, yeah, he makes oh, an eclipse. He does an eclipse in the middle of the day and to get their attention. And they pretty much tell him, hey, you pull some shit like that again, we're going to... We're going to enslave you in stone. Okay. I can probably get it. I like the Marvel shit, man. I don't so, nerd out about it, but I do like it. Uh, Moon Knight's got, like... So, it's kind of funny. So, every personality that the main character has can use the Moon Knight abilities. But, depending on which personality is present is which armor that he he uses. So, like, the more timid, crazier version of himself is in, like, a cardigan set of white armor and, like, a white face mask with a little moon on it. Whereas (laughs) the fucking Mark, the American, like, badass, like, super spy guy, he is in, like, a full set of, like, Egyptian fucking god armor. And you can 100% tell that they're trying to say... Well, this is bitch, the bitchy version. What's his name? Steven? Is he Steven when he's uh, English or French? And Steven. Timid? Yeah. Yep. Mm. Yeah. I'm eager to see how it goes forward because in one of the scenes, Mark was just as confused as Steve mm-hmm. was. Yeah, apparently there's a third personality that, none yeah, of the, that, that Mark and Steven aren't aware of. But the, but the main like uh, story arc is Kaishu is looking for a new avatar and he is going to take Mark's wife if Mark doesn't keep working for him. So right now he is pretty much just trying to do whatever he is asked so that Kaishu doesn't pick his wife and make her his next avatar of like killing fun. So it's pretty cool. It's good. It's good so far. What we're in episode three. I think we watched episode three last night. Episode Mm. three. Yeah, yeah, that one was. Y'all watching that shit together? Shit. Um, I watched part of the first episode maybe with Isaiah and the second mm-hmm. two with Mike. Yeah, but Isaiah watches it as well. We tend to uh try to uh keep. The, we knew that this, this was going to be a podcast discussion topic, so we, yeah. we made sure that we kept up on it. Although Halo was also be supposed to be to that aspect, also a uh fucking topic and mike just decided you know what nope don't want to do that 
Let's still talk about it. I mean, we could. You haven't watched any of it, though. And yeah. Isaiah and, the, uh, and I are the only one that have even a remote, vast amount of knowledge of the Halo universe. <laughs> no? Have you... I know, I know Mike and Rick haven't, but Turner, have you seen uh, Peacemaker? And oh, not, oh my god, yet. it's John Cena is a fucking nut in it. He really is, too. It's I, so I've, uh, good. I've definitely watched some shit on it and uh, looked into it, and I've seen so many clips, but he is so fucking vulgar, and like... Yeah, you so. can you can tell that they they give him like system, systemically racist moments and like yeah, yeah. like completely blind eye moments where he's doing yeah. shit that the public would be like, oh damn. <laughs> so yeah, so there's a uh, there's a lesbian character on the team or whatever, and they're in the back of this van or or some they're somewhere anyways, and he looks at the lesbian and, he, and he's like, yo, so is scissor and real or or <laughs> like, I'm getting mixed signals about it. And then he takes, uh, oh, he, like, meets this, like, superhuman, like, alien chick or whatever, and he takes her home, and he sleeps with her, and then he has to, she, like, attacks him, he has to kill her, and, like, like in the next episode, he's talking about, he's like, yo, you remember that alien chick I killed? Remember I went home with her, and we had sex, and my dick was in her, and she came, like, four times while my dick was in her? Remember her? Oh, my God. Yeah! And, like, you know, if, if you, if you <laughs> watch wrestling, and you know John Cena, like, it, that's I think that's why it's so good because that's complete fucking one eighty of who everybody knows him as. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right. You're not wrong, but that is just absurd. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. God damn. Listen, if he would have turned heel in the WWE, he would have been the biggest wrestler ever. Bigger than The Rock, Stone Cold, the, the biggest ever. Okay, so I agree with that, but what most people you don't please don't get me started about wrestling. But John, John well, we already started. started his career a heel. Most people just don't understand that. He came out and started dissing people in rap tracks. Like, that's not a baby face. Like, that's no, not, no, no, that's I not know. a good guy. He threw a pack of fucking pistachios in Stephanie McMahon's face and said, choke on these nuts. The good guy does not say that. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I get that. What I'm, I'm saying, like. Word life. This is basic thugonomics. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, like, you know, the, if, ten years ago, he would have turned heel. Like, it would have fucking... People would have lost did, their He did mind. need a Hulk Hogan moment. He did need a big NWO coming out as the back he, and, I, and I respect why he never did it. Like, that dude's the most... He's done more Make-A-Wish appearances than anybody ever. Like, he's the number one requested oh, yeah. Make-A-Wish person. Let's see how many... Anyways, time. that show is really good. Not anymore. I mean, yeah, I, I, it's he's turned into a way better actor than a yes, over six hundred and fifty yes. wishes granted by John Cena alone. Yeah, that's it's hmm, a big number. Johnny's yeah, out there Gino. flexing with them big old fucking meat oh, he's arms, the fucking, and he's fuck, oh, he's yeah. huge, bro. Like he don't no, even he look is. normal. He is absolutely enormous. You're not wrong. I bet he can't even wipe his own ass. I bet that Bella the bitch has to do it. <laughs> I don't think they're together anymore. Yeah. Um. And I'm not mad at him because he could be pulling in way better looking tail than that bitch now that he's big, big. And, Mike, I don't know what it is, but you're not in focus. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking Bob Webb over here. <laughs> You've got such a glare. Yeah, that's like, fine you for have me. such a glare. You're right, it's fine, but you have this weird haze around your head because of the green screen effect. Uh, you're such <laughs> yeah. a piece of shit. Do I no, have okay, a wait, wait, wait. Random thought. Yeah, I was about to say. I think we're going to answer my question on the podcast. Would you rather have sex with Gyarados or shove oh magic cards up your ass? And I need an answer and a Stop. reason why. Who's Gyarados? Gyarados is the size of a dragon, <laughs> and he is an underwater creature. And Magikarp is uh, a goldfish the size of a fucking a basketball. Big fish. <laughs> so, would you rather have sex with the giant sea dragon or shove the giant sea fish up your ass? Are you are you fucking the sea <laughs> dragon, or is the sea dragon fucking you? I I that That's, so that was I'm my not question. Gonna, I'm not going to define that because the logistics of it are, like, frightening to begin with. So, whichever I'm just saying, way y'all can make it work, make it work. 
<laughs> I'm just saying, if you're doing the fucking, that's less gay than shoving something up your ass. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would fuck the fish. That's not yeah. an option. F- <laughs> Fucking the fish isn't an option. You gotta fuck the sea dragon. The fish should be fucking you. Yeah, fuck the dragon. That's fuck what I'm it. saying. I'm not shoving nothing on my ass. <laughs> no. Isaiah? Maybe, nothing maybe going a finger, on my butt. But... Gyarados, definitely. Yeah? No? Hey. Wait, wait. Can we take a What's step up? back? <laughs> Kyle just said a finger, maybe. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean... You never had a finger in your butt, like one, like just like the first knuckle. First of all, I don't think he's got it in him to ask Kara. Second of all, <laughs> and no, I mean the first knuckle. I would never huh? ask her that. I know Rick had a digit in his butthole. I mean, exit it's not no gay. It's I mean, it's a, I'm not gonna get into the whole nuance of it, but it it happens. When you're in the middle of it and it happens, it happens. But I'm yeah. asking nobody to shove a finger in my ass if that's yeah. what you're getting at. I love well, that's what that Kyle we have just deteriorated asking me. To talking about fingers and asses, and we are ten minutes into this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that brought up the that magic card question. But that's been on my mind for so long. I was on that subreddit, and it was just like full of weird ass questions. Was... Yeah, well, shit happens, you know. Listen, bro, you, you let me be part of the podcast, so I don't. Kyle, hear Kyle but... do you remember the follow up question? What? I believe you posted. I believe you said, um, "Would you rather have sex with a dead body or your own dad?" Wow, I never said that, bro. Don't put that. Yes, I never said yes, that. Yes, you did. <laughs> what? That don't sound like something I was saying. <laughs> what? <laughs> but well, I ain't having sex with my dad, <laughs> right? That's for sure. <laughs> your dad be critiquing you the whole time about how you ain't doing it right. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> Kyle's dad be calling him Billy. Mike has been no, so no, still, I was actually we'll kind of Mike curious. Out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, no, I was just saying, Mike has been so still, I thought his camera was froze. <laughs> All right, how old, All right, how old is this dead body? I, see, I mean, it is, but you you hit both categories. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's Kyle's fault. Bro, I don't even remember a- I don't it's remember yours. asking that. I remember I, remember I had to tell you why you shouldn't ask Mike it later. <laughs> oh, okay, I do remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I never said that. <laughs> I do remember now. He said because Mike's dad's dead. Jesus. We- what? I'm not making fun. I'm not trying to be a dick. Like, it happens, bro. Like, people, you know what I mean? I hate you. My mom's dead to me. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I mean, there's that. Right. I, I didn't know that. I was just saying... Topic change! Was... <laughs> dead like seafood, though. I like seafood. Your mom's pretty cool to me. me my mom? Yeah. You yeah. met my mom? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Was that not your mom? <laughs> At the Christmas? Or was it Christmas? Damn, or Rick New took Mike to Christmas? Maybe? Y'all dating and shit. Wait, uh, where did we go? My brother, you're right. No, that was my mom. Yeah, so it's okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's where we found out. Uh... Xander's allergic to shellfish. Yes, yes. That was yeah. that. Okay, okay. Mike, I was really worried for a second. <laughs> Mike, why the fuck did you meet my mother? <laughs> like, uh-huh. <laughs> both... <laughs> Better watch out. Ah. I mean, <laughs> no, you best watch out. I'm gonna work you over, boy. <laughs> She's uh, a yeah. mean bitch. <laughs> she would clap your cheeks. And she probably got the equipment to do it. You forget she's married to a woman. You're getting fucked with a yeah. strap on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably right. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, somebody think of a topic change. <laughs> Shit, uh. How did the, I mean, how, how did the apartment look, Isaiah? How's house hunting going? Oh, it's, it's going, um, it's still going, so that's, didn't, didn't that's Didn't you guys a, check out the place last night? Yes, we did, but. Yes, we did, but it. Mm-mm. 
not not that it wasn't upscale enough. Not a good part of there Keysville. Isn't a good part of Keysville, Isaiah. <laughs> I don't I don't know. <laughs> what you, you I feel to. like yeah. do y'all was... even have like apartment complexes out there? Or is it just like yeah, random houses people who can rent? Everyone's you gotta stop fine, acting yeah. like I live in the middle of the fucking nowhere, Kyle. Bro, you don't even have you don't even have I don't You don't even have a Burger King where you live. Kyle, that's not true. You gotta drive like a half an hour. I got Chinese food less than five minutes oh. from my house. Oh, yeah, by the Indian people. No, by the Chinese people. <laughs> oh, well, the Indian people make pizza. Wrong. It is about that far. I hate you. I, I might. It's also got a place that makes a pretty bomb pizza. Oh, yeah, that's the Indian people. I guess, are they? I don't know what they are. Yeah, really. remember he caught him? The husband is Indian, the wife yeah. is old and white. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, 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 that's exactly right. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Whew, I just had a dab. Hopefully, I can lighten the mood up. Wasted a lot of money on some fake weed there. Oh, no. Those are... I bought a lot of snacks there. I bought, bought a, lot a lot of, of what? Snacks. Oh. I think I did buy that edible thing, didn't I? Uh. About to eight. Up to ten. Maybe. They were... I, uh... <laughs> Mikey's getting Mikey, quieter and quieter. <laughs> you're trailing off on me, buddy. Yo, did you go dry your hair off? Because it don't look wet no more. No, just... Because it wasn't uh, greasy, man. I told you. Bro, I've seen that shit. <laughs> look at the glare so, on his forehead. So, uh... Okay, okay. Looks like I a got, punch I of bacon on his head. What do, we, what do we all think about uh, Elon's interest in buying Twitter? I think Elon Musk is a oh, fucking alien. Oh, 9%? He's just mad at the guy tracking his flights. <laughs> yeah, but but his track record shows when he's upset about something, he tends to buy buy it. <laughs> did he share. make like a post right after he did it? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> wanting to the edit mm -hmm. part. Yeah. Yup, he want. If he can't buy it, he'll make his own. I don't really think it's that. Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, I mean, it's not as controversial if they're not trying to filter what we you know do and say but I don't really care either way I just think it's funny because he seems to he's like this seems completely yeah. random it's like something had to I feel like something bigger happened that made him very interested and I think I'm hitting one more dab because I'm not nearly high enough Guys, this is dead air. I don't want dead air. You can buy SHIB <laughs> on Robin Hood. I recommend it. Buy what on Robin Hood? SHIB. What? It's a cryptocurrency. What? Listen, I don't know if I can listen to your cryptocurrency advice anymore after you lost all that money. I haven't lost anything. Damn, yeah, Mike. Other than what sold without my... What do... It wasn't my option. It wasn't my I option. Bought <laughs> I bought options and they didn't win. You'll have that. Some You win some, you lose some. But I do have a lot of shares and a lot of stuff. Isaiah, have you uh, uh looked into any of the Newark and Bleach? No, I haven't. I didn't yeah, realize so, it was. Uh, they finished it up in the manga, I believe. And Taitai Kubo. Okay. Agreed to come back on, and he's gonna animate and do another oh, art yeah. for Bleach. My, I, yeah, he just had to leave yeah. Baruto, right? Baruto is getting wild. That's honestly. actually exciting. And I, I, it's kind of hard to watch. What do you mean wild? What do you mean wild? Wild, wild weird, good? like the powers they're using and shit. It's just strange. It's not. I just, I just want. Gotcha. Yeah, it's not exactly. Naruto. I just want my regular Naruto shit. <laughs> what is me hitting a dab on the stream not allowed? I think it is. Well, we can't currently see you, so it's just yeah. we don't know That's what's going shitty. on. You should screen. figure that out. What is, are you upset that you can't see me? <coughs> no, it's just yeah. that you just go silent all of a sudden. It's just, <coughs> That's because I was dying from a dab. No, if this motherfucker Mike don't stop licking his lips and biting it, I'm, I'm turning shit off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm not for a ten Snickers. minutes. He's I like, I'm not a Snickers, man. and you cannot eat me. Yeah, he's licking his lips and fucking <laughs> biting his bottom lip and shit. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. <laughs> so dry, bro. I'm not the one that told you to come unprepared to the podcast. <coughs> Fav- Got my okay. bottle of water. Favorite food and drink <laughs> for when you're high. And everybody can answer this because even though you don't smoke pot anymore, Isaiah, you used to. So I want answers. It was. It was a cool, cool ranch <laughs> bag of Doritos for me. That was always my favorite. Mm, Doritos are banging. Mike is going to say water in some iteration of something. Because <coughs> he's always got... Here, let me hear the jingle. Let me hear it. <laughs> Shake the bottle. Good noise. Oh, listen. I have nightmares <laughs> of being at this fucker's house and just hearing the ice. Because that bottle's metal. So when the ice hits, it's like... Uh. Clink, clink, clink. And I could just hear it in my fucking head for days after I left his house. <coughs> I like, uh, water. <coughs> wow. Shocker. Yeah, what? Well, I like a lot coming. of food, you know? I'm anything with peanut butter in it, bro. <coughs> Excuse me. How about peanut butter? Yeah, I, yeah. I'm fucked. Up. If I fucked up, bro, yeah, there. peanut butter, bro. <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwich, fucking a nutty buddy, like fucking whatever. Oh shit, nutty buddies are the best. Hell yeah, I fucking nutty buddy up. Dude, I get nutty, same. buddy. Fuck out of here. This motherfucker. <laughs> Ricky, what about you? Ricky, what about you? I'm a gummy cat person. Yeah. Like, oh, you do like getting gummies, huh? Or, or you like gummies, huh? <laughs> We're not talking about that on the podcast, Kyle. <laughs> um, what about this? How uh, say nothing? No builds in Fortnite. Zero build. Okay, zero that's build. A good topic change. Good topic change, but it wasn't going to be some iteration of trolley o gummies. Just saying. It's a lot better. <laughs> zero. Okay, so I just didn't want to deep. It's how the game should have started off as. Is zero building and Fortnite? Is it is it nice? Like, so I I don't even want to play regular Fortnite anymore because of how much better the zero build really is. Like, I feel like it would have been just as big. I mean, maybe not. The building was revolutionary, and it really is what made the game pop at first. Like, it, it's what set it aside. But that's not where the market is right now. It's not where the fucking battle royale genre is nobody wants to deal with that building bullshit anymore mm. they just want a good open br like fair gunplay like decent weapons and they delivered honestly zero build is infinitely yeah. better they've been unvolting weapons that really are fun to play in an open field without somebody pulling a fucking 90 and ending up 600 feet in the fucking air next to you it's just like you if you are better at aiming, ninety percent of the time you're winning the fight. And that's uh, what I want to have in a BR. Oh yeah. And if it's you're someone amazing. like me and I'm like the bottom ten percent for building, like it allows me to actually play the game. Well see, I I'm not great at building, but I, I'm definitely good enough to hold my own in a one on one. Um but yeah. even I I, I just I played box fights with Rich, our friend, Isaiah's college roommate, the other day. And I played probably for an hour, hour and a half. And my my left pinky and my ring finger hurt so much because of just how much these sweaty-ass kids just edited. Like, they were taking walls. They were editing on it. It was just like keeping up was just so mind-numbing it's like that's not what i want to have like that's not what i want to be the skill that gets you the kill in a fucking gun game i want to be able to aim better than you yeah i like save the world Uh, you know i mean i I didn't like the fucking (laughs) battle royale version but i will say i don't think any game ever has had the impact that fucking fortnite had (laughs) minecraft no minecraft's a bigger (laughs) game i get that but the impact bro like Mm. Minecraft maybe made what a couple people millionaire, 
Like <coughs> Fortnite. No, no, Minecraft Fortnite. is a cultural thing. I know it Fortnite's is, but I'm saying not. the impact though. I know. I'm telling you, Minecraft Minecraft transcends anything. Like it, oh, oh. Kyle, it's been around for a decade. I'm just I understand that, but I'm saying I mean okay, it's been around for a decade. Fortnite's been around for what, three, four years? And it's made probably a hundred thousand people millionaires. I mean like that, seriously, I don't know if that was. Yeah, I get, what I get, you're I get exactly you know what, what you're saying, but I feel like many other games that had just as many views got the same amount of money. You say, and you say, Fortnite's a cultural thing, bro. Look at all the fucking skins mm. they have. Yeah, too many. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It's a culture. I, I, I don't think it transcends the same way. Like Fortnite, uh-huh. Fortnite is focused mainly on kids, whereas. Like, Minecraft is from kids to adults to anybody. It literally is a culture. The Vatican has a Minecraft server, Kyle. The Vatican. You That's think just they... so they can fucking get to little kids. Kyle, Kyle, yeah, no! It's just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> hey, wrong, man. 26 minutes and it took Kyle to... Say something that could possibly... Whoa, Isaiah, what happened? What happened? What do you mean? Did what? somebody touch something on... Oh my god. I don't know what happened. All the fucking frames went wonky on OBS. I don't know. I fixed them real quick. It's okay. So I just looked it up. Uh, Minecraft's 11 years old. <clears throat> Fortnite is currently 5. Yeah. Fortnite is no, bigger than Minecraft. That's... Absolutely not. Yeah, that's not that's true. Not. But it has yeah. made a lot of millionaires. You're already right about that. I'm talking about the impact that it had on gaming. <laughs> no, that's a so Kyle, you're 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 seeing it from such a skewed perspective. I'm not. I'm not talking about it being a bigger game. I did say that. Minecraft that's not what I meant. Minecraft changed video gaming forever. It didn't change nobody's life. What? That's not true. Do you know? Fortnite do you, do you, do you know Sky does right. Sky does Minecraft. Who the fuck is Sky? Bro, see, cause you you're not in the. It's the name of the girl I met down in Florida. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. I thought her name was okay, L Sky. Okay, you wanted to do this, Mike. Let's talk about the fact that you went into a massage parlor and got a hand job. That, yeah, that's about it. That's all you had to say. <laughs> It's, listen, uh, there's no, some no, people no. that might know, be like... I want to know the conversations that took place that led to said hand job, And I want to know what this woman looked at you and said prior to the to the shaking of the old shake weight. I bet she, I bet she had a killer grip. She was just beating the shit out and rubbing him on his forehead talking about, oh, me, oh, me, oh. She wasn't saying much because you know she was pretty heavily Chinese. Oh, I thought she was. I thought she was um like Spanish. Yeah, I'm in mean, Florida. Yeah, but you know, you know that me, you know, yeah. you were just saying mijo, and that means son. Yeah. Why I would she, she be Spanish. jerking off her son? Why is she fucking in her sixties jerking <laughs> off randoms in a fucking? Kyle, bathroom? I want to know. We're gonna start with the back. Uh, <laughs> you, you know. I wasn't being <laughs> literal. I'm just saying, oh, you know, me. Oh. Yeah, but that means son, bro. You can't. Why would you? Right. I thought it was like. That? I didn't know it was actual son. I thought it was like uh, brother or something no, like that. It means my son. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's just what Kyle's used to be uh, used to hearing. Get over here, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, you fucking ginger. <laughs> you don't like being called Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Billy. Alright, do you want to hear the story? Yes, about the... let's go. Yeah. Come on. Right. You have the floor. Alright. Alright, so. I get to the massage place and I have to wait because a whole bunch of other guys are going to jerk off at the moment. <laughs> so I got to wait for them. <laughs> that takes like 10 minutes. So I see a guy come out. He grabs like some candy out of this. this you never bowl. eat the candy at the jerk at, parlor. At the front. So I'm like, I'm gonna do that when I'm done. That guy has a good idea. <laughs> so that does happen. But <laughs> anyway, 
after like 10 minutes, some girl comes out, you know, this 50 year old, <laughs> and she brings me to the back. We're going past three rooms. Three guys are already getting jerked off, so I'm going to be the fourth one. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> So I go in, and she just kind of, she brings me in the room, and she leaves. So I'm like, all right, well, I guess I have to take some clothes off. I don't know really what to do. So I take everything off, but uh, I lay my underwear on my shirt, and I lay on the table, and there's a towel. I put it over me. She comes in, rips the towel off, and she's like, uh, you got to take this off. You know, the rest of my clothes. So I'm like, oh, okay. You can't take your underwear. So I, yeah, so I get up and I do that. I leave my socks on. Probably a dirty place. Yeah, no, that's a good, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a, a good smart call. move, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the play, that's the play. She didn't complain about that. But then she just starts, you know, feeling me up. But she keeps saying okay, and I'm just shaking my head. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> and she just keeps on going, and then eventually she's like, all right, you ready? And like, okay. She goes over and gets some uh, lotion, then just goes ham. <laughs> And then she lets me feel her up. She puts my hand on her ass. Hell yeah. And I go right down. <laughs> He's you like, finger- no, that's not what I'm here for. This is called, like, prostitution. Did you finger her? <laughs> I'm all over yeah, that. Did. Hell yeah. So that was at the beginning, Jeez. though. So oh, Mike. After that, she's like, dude, you still want to massage? And I'm like, yeah. So then that happens. I roll over. She goes ham on my back. You know what? It. She's probably like, I'm going to beat you off so you're not just going to fucking get hard while I'm massaging you because I don't want to deal with that shit. She's like, fuck it. You want me to fucking yank it real quick so we can get this over with? <laughs> now tell me. It was you pretty put your nice. You ass hands in nice. that candy dish after, didn't you? Did she let you just bust all over your stomach or whatever? Like, I'm saying, did she put a towel on it? Did she catch it with her face? Like, what? Uh, yeah, she just kind of put her hand on top. Oh, okay. She did up. the whole fucking motion. Woo! <laughs> 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 Oh my god! I can't believe he actually went through with telling that story. Like this is going to YouTube. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> if he coulda, he woulda. It's 2022, and it wasn't a fucking little kid, so who gives a fuck? Kyle. Jesus. I'm just saying, no, bro. No, we, we, we can't be just saying no, anything just, like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, like, it was, like it's, I'm it's, just two saying. Fucking, it's two consensual adults. Like, who gives a fuck? It's, like, it's not I, that big a deal. I ain't mad at him. Yeah. yeah it's not that big a deal. Yeah. She got a hundred bucks out of it. That, that's a lot. I almost passed out during the massage, too. It's pretty I'm best good. so, bro. Oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah. you almost passed out because you got your dick beat off right before the massage, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Let's be honest. That's a release of serotonin. You were at a high, and then you peaked, and you fucking dropped, buddy. That's called a crash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did get some candy at the end there. Of course you did. Good time. Then I went and got feared after. What'd you eat? Pussy. Uh, <laughs> can't even remember. I know I had chips and salsa. I don't know what else I had there. So you had Mexican. No, it was just a restaurant. Spanish. Every place down in Florida has chips and salsa. It's because everybody's Spanish. Latino. They're not Spanish. Yeah. They're Latino. Oh, well, same. I mean, I'm not trying to be fucking racist. I know you're not. I'm yeah, just, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm just yeah. clarifying for you. All right, they're, all right. They're Latino, Latin America, Cuban. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Spanish is more of a central, like, you know, down, down past Texas, below there kind of thing. <laughs> Yo, wasn't that you I telling lie. me that uh, saying Mexican is fucking racist? You can't call them Mexicans, no, Kyle. That's not they're Alaska. Mexicans. No, they're People... from Mexico. Okay, but that's not what you meant. That is what I meant. No, Why you... if we're talking about people from the state of fucking New Mexico, you you can't call them Mexicans either. No, they're not Mexicans. <laughs> they're Americans. 
They're from America. I'm just saying, like, I don't think Mexican is a fucking derogatory term, is what I'm saying. I think it it is. I think it is. (laughs) You notice how there's a lot of hesitation in the rest of the conversation? (laughs) Oh, I I mean, I don't think it's... It's because it's hard to talk about, Kyle. I don't understand why, though. It's not nothing... It's not a derogatory term. It's all pretty wack. <laughs> words are words, man. You should be able to say whatever you want. I, it's hard. It, I'm the like so. I'm the type of person that like when I was in college, I lived with 300 black people, and on probably like three or four times, I dropped an N word. Not like a hard R. No, no, no. Yeah. Like an A, just fucking with them, and it was like. I remember my friend Eric would be like, you're just a crazy white boy. <laughs> and that, that's what I would get. I mean, but, some, uh, some some black people, it's more about, you know, you know how, like how long they know. I didn't mean to turn you, this like, conversation this way. We uh, should probably yeah, not. <laughs> not for I, everybody, but. Yeah, this conversation ain't for the podcast. All right, next topic. Isaiah, you got anything on your list? Uh, No. Nothing else. God damn. Uh, all right, so I do have how easily you can mistake a man for a female in this day and age on my list. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, I was driving down the road the other night, and I have literally said to Alex, I was like, watch out, we can't hit this grandma. And I swerved. And as I got next, it was actually like a 35, 40-year-old guy. <laughs> and I was so baffled. I was like, what did I miss? Like... No way. <laughs> yeah. Um. Ah, uh, jeez, I can't remember how long ago it was, but it was kind of like the same situation. I didn't expect. I wasn't thinking it was a grandma, but I thought it was a woman. But it was definitely a guy. It's ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> it's ma'am. <laughs> he said. He said, "I'll take you, you call outside." Me, sir, show but you. it's ma'am. Yeah, he said, I'll take you outside and show you a stern. <laughs> <laughs> and that motherfucker was a linebacker. Like, he wasn't fooling nobody. <laughs> like, I can, listen, I can understand if somebody was just being fucking nasty toward him or whatever. But, like, that kid was, didn't, he didn't know what to fucking do and say. Like, he was, he no, scared he the fuck out of that kid. Yeah. Yeah. I completely agree. I and I don't even know what you do in that situation from the from the customer service standpoint. Yeah. Like, and what was worse was as he was trying to de-escalate, he accidentally calls her sir again. Yeah. And that fucking she goes through the roof, and mm. I'm honestly really good about it. I have no problem calling you whatever the fuck your little brain wants to play call you. I'll, but when I'm not talking to your dumbass, you're a fucking dude playing dress up. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Like, I don't care how you live your life or whatever, but him to act for him to act like that toward that kid was ridiculous. Yeah, hundred percent. The kid wasn't being fucking nasty or or nothing like that. He was like nervous. <laughs> I thought was scared. Too, a fucking she Hulk comes up and tries yes! to beat oh, my ass at the game. Style. I was oh, yeah. literally just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> like he. People react so quick now. Yeah, and he he absolutely was trying to de-escalate the entire time. <laughs> and what was worse was the people in the store around th- that person was definitely not helping. Like no, because no, they want to pull out their phones and record the that's whole thing. The, that's I mean, the culture. We, we had the video because of Listen, that. Listen, I, I I get the way you're saying, Turner, but for me, like I'm not trying to get beat up by no fucking linebacker in a blouse <laughs> on camera. My question is, if I swing, am I getting, like, am I hitting hitting a woman if we go to court? That's what I want to know. Like, ha- the court, the court would see him as a woman. So yeah, so yeah, you would. Would straight look at them and say, "What's it say on his motherfucking license?" Yeah, this is that's if the it, day and age we live yeah. in. It's so fucking absurd. It's just, it's just a touchy subject, but. 
I get. I have no problem with yeah. people identifying. Like I said, play whatever make believe game you want in your head. I'm not gonna argue with you. There's crazy people out there. That's all I'm gonna assume you are. But, like, if we're going to court, and I can have a scientist be like, "Hey, that had balls," you're a dude, and there's yeah. no arguing that. How the fuck? I don't care what your mental state says. You're arguing mental over physics or physical. Yeah. That's stupid. I don't yeah, know. and I'm just saying the way the court would say it. Like, that dude that won the fucking NCAA championship for swimming. That's a bit of a different topic because he had a dick and balls. Even even after he transitioned, he he didn't just go from 400th place in the men's to first place in the women's. He. Uh, there's like you could see him climbing through the through the ranks after he transitioned to women's like he still worked really or sorry she still worked really hard uh after the transition to get to first place he didn't just go from a guy and then turn into a girl and get first place like what the fuck are you doing his yeah but his body is still superior to theirs i'm not saying that i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Does, like, hold on. Does he? Does uh, he have? He didn't just. Does he still have like a dick ahead. and balls? No, I don't think so. I think he does. I think he's just saying he identifies as a woman. I don't think he transitioned. Uh, I think he transitioned. I, I'm, not I'm not entirely positive. sure about that part. I just know that, like, after the transition, she still worked hard and. Well, yeah. Got I mean, it's, it still takes a skill, but I mean. She's also, he's also, because he was also a she foot was taller also than everybody being, else there. Guys, can we, can okay. we talk about something that Mike can be involved in? This motherfucker could fall asleep on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say one more thing. She, she was still being outperformed even when she made the first, like her first race, she was still being outperformed by hundreds of other women. Okay, so before. if she, if he still has his dick and balls, he's still producing testosterone. So. Like I said, I don't. That's what I'm I don't know, know either. I, I thought part. he, I thought he, I thought he just identified as a fucking old girl, so they had a letting. No, I don't know. Listen, if he still had, if he still had his equipment, and that was one of my daughters that that he beat in the championship, <laughs> I would have caught him in the parking lot, and he would got these hands. I don't give a fuck. I'd go to jail. Catch me outside. How about that? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I don't know about Yo, that. Yo, speaking part, of I Catch Me know. Outside, that bitch turned that fucking one episode oh, of yeah. Godfrey. <laughs> she is a millionaire. Yeah. Does it, Daniel Bregoli. Does surprise she, me. Does, she does so much stuff. And Daniel Bregoli is huge. Is she, is, she, <laughs> is she 18 yet? Because uh, I'm yeah. like, Dr. Phil, she was like 14, 15. Yeah. yeah. I think so she's young. 18 now because she has only fans. I think... Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. I think she planned... Of course, you would know that, Ricky. Uh, <laughs> maybe. What, what, Hold up, though. I, I think she knew what she was doing for what? Dr. Phil. I think they used Dr. Phil to fucking... to get her shit started. I think, mm -hmm. I think she had a... Her and her mom had a plan. And I ain't mad at her for it. Like, she's annoying, but I ain't mad at her. Get your money. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta do what you gotta do. Next topic. Somebody's gotta come up with something, you bums. We're at we're at the forty minute mark, and you guys are struggling. We're not. We're just talking. We've been struggling bro. the entire time. <laughs> Mike, Mike has not been a part of this conversation. All right. All right. He actually had like the a best story. ten minute segment to himself. The best story, bro. <laughs> And they did the hand gesture. <laughs> put put that in your. Uh, oh, that's gonna your... be the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> put that in the that's podcast highlights right yep, there. Yep, we're definitely gonna have to do that. Oh, this is ridiculous. What what's uh, been going on in uh the world lately? Nothing interesting. What about in video gaming? New World had a huge update that we've been trying to force Mike into playing. Kyle says he re-downloaded it. Oh, there you go. Um, 
Um, there's Hello, really... Erica. Oh, I don't know, bro. I never got... I'm... You guys played it, like, two, three weeks before me, and I'm still... I'm still, like, way down. Like, I'm not very... Well, I mean, up. me and Mike stopped really doing the story quests. We could probably do them, or we could just make new tunes all together and just run the whole shit with them. Yeah, that worked. How much is New World? 60? Um, I'm honestly not sure. They had a free weekend a couple weekends <laughs> ago, and then, oh, uh... Shit. Here, let's take a little gander. I am. I am looking it up right now. Well, the stream's the stream wants to see too, Isaiah. So, I'm pulling it up on the main screen, so they could say. Uh, but I still can't see. Uh, I know you can't. And it is twenty three ninety nine. Oh, that's not too bad. bad. Nope. Ah, damn! Mike, you need to shave. I might dabble in some new world. What? Mike needs to shake. Yeah, no. Mike, what did you just do to your this camera? This is just coming up now. I just, I don't know, just hit me like, God damn, he got all close to the camera and shit. There we go. I don't know why it just popped out like that. Don't do that again, motherfucker. <laughs> don't do it again, motherfucker. Is there anything coming to Halo Infinite anytime soon? Yes, or is there it still is just a new going... season that's about to start, I think, this coming month. And a uh, new, new no. season pass oh, so is I... adding in a couple maps, so... They look like they're adding in a couple of old maps, like, uh, I think one of them's called Avalanche, maybe. It's the huge one from Halo 3 where you're outside in the windy yeah. area with the big ship in the middle. Yeah. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So, I, remember I remember doing, uh, racetracks on that. They're also, yeah, oh yeah, the Mongoose racetracks on that. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah, I do remember that. But they're also adding in another one, but I think it's actually a Halo 2 map. And I can't remember... It. It reminds me of Ivory Tower a little bit, but I can't think of the name of it. It's mm, it's gotcha, just gotcha. like a big open center area, a couple of catwalks on top with like four little overlooks, and it's like just a huge box. It's a it's one of the smaller maps. It'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can actually look it up to be honest with you. <clears throat> um. I'm trying to think, what other games? Um. Well, New World had a big update. Added expeditions, dungeon mutations, a new weapon in the blunderbuss, I, and uh, also the server that Mike and I are playing on is merging for the second time into a new server. I can't exactly remember what it was. So let's see. Halo Infinite Season 2 release date, new modes and updates. It's been a while, but developer 343 Studios has finally... Back at it with Halo Infinite Season 2, Lone Wolves, will launch later this spring based on a marketing campaign. Let's see what we got here. Scroll down. Uh, set to release on May 3rd. Okay. okay. Uh, so I should probably get up to uh, level 100. In the main pass. Yeah, we've been playing quite a bit of it, honestly. That's the... The main bread and butter of the channel right now is Halo. I play a little bit of Fortnite yeah. on the side too. I've honestly, I'm, I've been trying to think of games or something to expand to play on stream. It's been difficult, but Halo's been really good for that. Playing. Right. If you have an idea, comment down below. Bang bang. For a new game. Damn it, Mike. What? Why does your camera keep popping out of the frame? I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm gonna have to fix it, Michael. Uh, how's, that? Uh, how's that new map and arc? Oh God, I haven't fucked with arc in a minute. Yeah, he let all the dinos die. Uh, uh, <laughs> when did you tell him that? Yeah, I didn't. Tell I was him there. That. Oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> how could you tell? Listen, I want everybody to know out there that that piece of shit over there didn't get on in two weeks. All right, so. I was busy, you guys, man. Having you guys fun. have to maintain the conversation for a couple of seconds. I gotta go get my kids from the door for, w without them screaming through here. So I'll be right back. Keep it up. Can't wait for this oh, dead man. silence. So it was all his fault, though. That's all I have to say. So Kyle, you were playing on the server too? I don't know. I was just there. Rick said something about. It was when Mike was in Florida getting his hand job. Oh. He came back and Rick told him he's like I ain't. He's like man, I haven't signed into uh, Ark in like oh, two weeks, and they got on and he was like, oh, it's bad. Everything was fucking dead. 
damn. Are you guys, Dude, man, are you guys that restarting that or? Uh, I don't know. Not only was everything dead though, but everything was destroyed. Yeah, destroyed. Yeah. yeah. Kyle, are you going to uh, make it so you can play some games? Yeah, I don't know. Jeez. I can't say, bro. Life's just different now. Oh, trust me, I know. You are preaching to the choir, my guy. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> How's, they're gonna uh... come in here and wreck shit, and you know it. <laughs> oh yeah, always. But my fat ass had to go get me a fancy cake. Wow. Oh, those are the, the shit, bro. Yeah, they are, my dude. <laughs> oh. So, what do you guys talk about? Why is that? <laughs> the Ark server. And how Mike Whether or not you it. guys were going to go back to it or just leave yeah. it. Yeah. It was all your fault. Bro, I took over so much land and you just let it wh whittle away. You know? It was all I can't believe you'd put in all that work and just let it disappear like that. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, anything you want to talk about, big dog? Oh, uh, not really. Well, you're a piece of shit, really. I just, well, I mean, I like contributing, but I don't want to have to come up with the fucking... on the spot, bro. No? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <Ha>! Wow. <laughs> what did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet, Kyle? I don't know what. Supplies! <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, I like dad jokes, don't fuck with me. <laughs> that was good. That was stupid. <laughs> it's a 10 out of 10 joke right there. I like that. I keep that one in my back pocket. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground oh, beef. I thought he said a cat. This took a turn. <laughs> I thought cow, he said a cat too. Cow, <laughs> I thought he said cat. Oh wow! Everybody right. was. Everyone like, heard cat. <laughs> I was terrified. I was like, God damn, this motherfucker got dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I hate you guys. It do be like that sometimes. It do be like that sometimes. Any new games coming out and we want to play? Mm, not that I can think of. Elden Ring's been All the new games. Fun. Yeah. yeah. Do they have they had any updates for it? Not or, yet, uh... but I beat the game. Mike hasn't. He quit on it because it was a fucking slowpoke. Yeah, I, I liked watching you play that because I, I can't. It's just too clunky for me. It's hard. It's a lot of uh, getting used to repetitive motions and shit. Oh. Yeah, cheat and cheat be a mage. Mike's just mad because he couldn't beat the game and I did. <laughs> I was busy having fun. Getting, getting yeah, you were getting me. fucking hand jobs by old ladies. Just once. <laughs> awesome defense right there, my guy. <laughs> Yo, just once. You know what surprises me though? He was there for two weeks and only went once. You know what? That, yeah. I was there for like ten days. That's only four days shy of two weeks, bitch. Yeah, that's like fucking seven boat or uh, hand jobs, Mike. <laughs> if only. Mike didn't want seven hundred dollars. Mike did Mike was trying to justify yeah. giving this bitch a hundred bucks for a hand job when he could just beat his own dick. <laughs> it feels different when it ain't your hand, though. You ain't wrong. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> <laughs> What in the fuck? She did what she was doing. <laughs> yeah, because she'd been doing it all yeah, day. She was probably, yeah, I didn't say. I bet she's got carpal tunnel. probably like 15 guys before you. Yeah, yeah, I bet wrong. she's got carpal tunnel. <laughs> I hate you, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I really do hate you. We gotta get through fucking at least like ten more minutes of conversation, boys. So, Will Smith. Will Smith. <laughs> uh. I can't believe he was a hoe about that <laughs> smacking. Yeah, 
I thought it was hilarious how he was laughing at a joke one second, frame went back to Chris Rock, and then (laughs) it cut back to Will Smith (laughs) walking up. Yeah, that was kind of like, crazy, honestly. He must have got some kind of stank eye. <clears throat> He's just a fucking yeah. weak-ass bitch, is what it is. Yeah. He's getting quite the punishment. Hey, and Chris, hey, Chris Rock's a bitch, too. He should have hit him back. I don't give a fuck if it is the Oscar. No, he is a... He could have been fine, too. He's just like, well, too. I just got the shit slapped out of me by freaking Will Smith. He's a, he's a big guy for not hitting back. Fuck that shit. 99% of guys would hit back. Hell yeah. And he's a, he's a bigger man because back, he didn't. 100%. He smacked him. He he hold him out. He didn't fucking punch. He smacked him. Yeah. And like I said, he's a bigger man because he didn't hit back. Yeah, I mean, it's a hard situation. Do you know I how... I'd hit yeah, back cause in that situation he would have... because of where he was. Yeah, exactly. He would have been fine, too. Well, his pride. How many? How many people were? How many people were watching? How many concurrence? Was it like seven million? Yeah, it pro- oh, was oh. probably more than that, honestly. But Mike, I don't know why your fucking camera keeps popping out of frame. It's so dumb. Yours is the only one doing it. I don't know fucking why. Shit. What? What was that event called? Uh, the Oscars. They, the Grammys? It was the Oscars, motherfucker. Y'all kill me. Y'all kill me. Dead silence. No, no. Fifteen point three six million views. Yeah. Oh my god. Fifteen point three million people got saw me get slapped. I might have to do something about it. Right. No, but that's the thing. Like that's all I hear is Isaiah can't fight. <laughs> Isaiah has to wrestle tards so he can fight. Okay. Mike, what's going on, big dog? How come you ain't contributed this year? I'm just hanging. I'm just hanging. Any any uh, new movies that were we haven't watched Morbius yet because and now that people said it's an absolute fucking dumpster fire, it's like goddamn. Yeah, I was about to say, what's the what's the verdict on? <sighs> Still gotta watch it, but apparently it's a, yeah, but... a dumpster fart. <laughs> oh, a dumpster <laughs> fart? <laughs> a dumpster fire, Mike, not a dumpster fart. Uh, dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> I was the only one that heard fart, right? I heard it. <laughs> That's what he said. I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it do be like that sometimes. It do be like that sometimes. <laughs> you notice how Kyle's all silent and shit now. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, okay. it's okay, Kyle. It's okay. What you been doing in life, Kyle? Working. Working. No. Have you had any promotions lately? Or? Nine no, to five. No, 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 no. Working nine to five. No. no. Damn, Mike started dancing. <laughs> His eyes are closed. Dude, they're always like that. His eyes always are always closed. like that. I've come to just deal with it. Like you, you're never gonna get more than this out of Mike. This is this is the baseline, brother. You gotta just deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got some a nice little tidbit. My daughter, the other night, was sleeping in the living room, and she decided to turn the space heater next to her, and she got warm, and then in her sleep decided she was too warm and spun it around. And melted the whole face plate of my vacuum cleaner. Oh my god. Oh damn. That was Jesus. That was uh the the first day I was home on quarantine with COVID. Wow. <laughs> so I was so achy and like Alex had just went to work and I told myself, The kids are okay. They're like all sleeping in the living room still. I'm gonna lay back down. And I wanted to get more sleep because it was like seven, and all of a sudden I smell something melting or burning, and I <coughs> get up and realize my space heater is on, and pointed at my wall, which has got my vacuum cleaner on it. 
Well, it could have been something a lot oh, yeah. worse than a vacuum cleaner. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. at least it was just that. We had to have a conversation about it, and I was like, you know, I'm not really mad about the vacuum cleaner. I'm more upset. I could have been sleeping in the house. Could have caught on fire. Like, then I wouldn't have been really able to do much about that. And Listen, she, though, when you woke understood. up, your first thought was like, damn, Jordan's fucking burning something, wasn't it? I mean... I thought one of the boys was up. That's that, very true. Listen, that motherfucker, he is something else, bro. His personality. He is. Pretty wild stabbing boy. fucking Mickey. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I that mean, was awesome. it wasn't uh, it wasn't the worst. He is a wild little man. I mean, it was a fight. It ain't like he tried to stab one of the other kids. No, he's just crazy sometimes. He's a little dude. And Xander be killing me. He be getting Ricky so fucking flustered because he's so smart and he fucks with Rick. He's been better lately, but he definitely does. He's such a little shithead. My kids are all fucking far too smart. Mm -hmm. Even even Dean's little ass is coming around. Chill out, bro. <laughs> you be nice, Kyle. You be nice. <laughs> well, motherfuckers, other than the, the, like, 30 seconds I got a bleep thanks to Kyle. Wow. We're at the hour mark, and, uh... Wow, okay. Because you guys have done no research, and by that I mean Mike and Kyle, uh, we're gonna call it here, right. and we're gonna get better list of topics for next week, cause... An hour. Defense for Kyle. He just found out about no, it. No, Kyle <laughs> interjected himself into it. Let's be clear. The, the, once he heard yeah. there was a podcast, there was no option to have a podcast without him. It was already <laughs> better because of me. <laughs> uh, I told you we're ending it, and you're already eating. I've been eating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. BDP episode one. We're out, bitches.